Welcome YouTube to the second part of the AVR LCD interfacing tutorial. Okay, so um, in the first part I showed you how to hook up the hardware and uh, make the necessary connections. In the second part we'll talk about the software needed to initialize LCD and write command to the LCD. Okay, so this is going to be the main file, the main uh, source code. From here we're going to initialize the ports Initialization of the port basically is allow, is to allow the microcontroller to be able to send information to the LCD. After initializing the ports, we now have to initialize the LCD by now sending it a series of commands to first tell it to wake up and second to tell it to ready itself for receiving uh, whatever set of bytes or commands that we want to send to it. Okay, let's, so let's go over a couple things now. From the first tutorial, you know that I have my data bus connected to port A, and I'm using all eight bits of that port to interface with my LCD, which is over here. So of the C port, so I'm only using three pins, and pin zero is connected to register select, and this is responsible for either being in data mode or command mode. Port 1 is for reading or writing and port C is for, for the enable uh, pin. Okay, so um, the definition of these pins are as follows. The RS pin is when it's low, it's going to be in command. The LCD is going to be in command mode. When it's 1, it's going to be in data mode. And um, the R slash W is for reading or writing. R is uh, when uh, when this pin is zero, it's going to write information to the LCD. When uh, it's one, it's going to read information from the LCD to the microcontroller. And enable bits is going to be toggling from one to zero, high to low. Um, you want to do this. This is a way to have a clocking system for the LCD in an 8-bit configuration and this location is zero. The overall value is going to be 2. Likewise, when I have the value 1 here and this bit and this bit are set to zero, the overall value will be 4 and so on and so forth with 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Uh, this is going to be important because we're going to be using the ORing command to join bits together as well as using the AND bits to clear bits um, in, an, in a byte or a word uh, variable. Definitions that I've made for the ports and for the LCD commands I want to start here by saying that I have made some variables or symbols to represent the ports I'm using. Also, I've set up the command um, ports, and if you remember, I'm using the RS and the R slash W and the enable bits using the port C. So I have to set these as output to be able to uh, use them. And also, I've defined which pins are which. Also, I have my, I, I've made some quick way of enabling write mode or read mode by simply, again, as from the previous picture I just showed, uh, by setting the read and write pin to uh, zero, that will enable us to be able to uh, be writing to the LCD. And these are the command set for the LCD. If you're wondering why I have 16 the values 0, 8, and 4, um, it was like I was showing you by setting different pins we can OR these values together to get an overall composite value. And so if you're wondering how I know which values to pick, the re uh, how I know is by referring referring to the datasheet of the LCD. 
So if you refer to the data sheet of the LCD, or in my case, I'm looking at Wikipedia, um, it'll tell you for controlling the uh, this particular LCD, we need this set of commands uh, in our heads and being able to memorize them and send them to the LCD. Um, so the directions are as follows. So all I did is basically um, take the commands and set the appropriate value as needed. So for example, um, if I want to turn the LCD on, I would have to write in binary 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and whether I want the display to be on or off, and that corresponds to down here. Uh, apparently by setting it to 1, we will be turning it on and you do the same for the rest of the bits. But more specifically, uh, we're concerned first of all with the first task of our microcontroller, of our microcontroller to LCD interfacing, and that is to actually turn on the LCD. So the data sheet for the LCD provides us with that information and it says to initialize the LCD we need to do these four steps. And first thing we need to do is clear the display and then select the function that we want, either 8-bit mode or 4-bit mode. In our case, I'm going to be selecting 8-bit mode. And to indicate how many num the number of displays we want, if you want, if you set this bit to 0 for the command, remember this whole thing has to be a composite right here. So if I set it to zero, it'll be one line display. So if I set this to zero, it's going to be a one line display. Um, but if I set it to two, it's going to be a two line display. Okay, and next after selecting interface mode and the font and uh, the, the number of display lines, next is to actually turn on the display. And of course, you set the corresponding bits in our case of one and display the blinker one and the blinking as one and then you put the entry mode and so that's basically it so let's hop over again to our source okay before entering to the initialization method we first have to see how to actually write a single byte to the LCD the first thing to do is to set the port controlling the data line the bus line we have to set that data direction to output so we can send information from our LCD out to the LCD. And we do that by calling my appropriate, basically set it for output by setting all bits to one. If I want it to be input, I'd set it all to zero. And next is to, is to enter write mode. And now we have to toggle the, we have to toggle the enable bit to high we hold the high for a couple of milliseconds then we place the data on the data bus and then we signal low after we signal low immediately afterwards the data will be sent to the LCD um, likewise if we want to do reading from the LCD to the microcontroller it's just the opposite we set, set the data direction to input we tell the microcontroller we want to read from the LCD and then we set information to high the exact same thing as up here set it to high place the information that we got from the LCD to our variable and then toggle to low this is a higher level function that encapsulates what we did up here and likewise this is a higher level function to encapsulate reading next we have two methods this one sets the write mode to be for writing only data and this sets the write mode to our commands to the LCD. Here we're going to be reading the busy flag and how we read the busy flag is by first noting that the busy flag has the highest bits of a one byte variable set to one. When it's one it indicates that the LCD is busy so what we first do is set this var variable to 1, telling it that yes, it's already busy. And then we continue to check and check and check to see finally when this bit is clear. Okay, continuing on, here is when we actually set up the LCD port. Remember um, that 
from the, our main method, the first function we call is to set up the ports of our microcontroller and we're telling it which ports we're going to be using to communicate to the LCD and then we set up okay now so from the microcontroller we then initialize the LCD oh actually first we have to send uh, three commands of home to the LCD I learned this the hard way this is absolutely necessary and then the actual initialization is as follows you clear the LCD um, then you write you write these set of commands to select the function in this case we want the function set and we want 8-bit mode to line display and a font of um, 5 by 10 and next is uh, turn the display on with the entry mode that we want and we tell the display to clear itself and then we return home and I did just did a simple animation to uh, kind of tell me that the LCD is starting up and being initialized and this is a function that tells the LCD to go to a particular line and then here we just write a longer version of writing in bytes in this case we write a series of bytes and here I convert a number to a string to be able to display it to the LCD Okay, and that's going to do it for this tutorial. I hope um, this has proven to be useful. Um, please rate and comment, and remember to subscribe. Thank you.